Hey there, Pipers. Jack Bryan here. Thanks for tuning in to the January Piper Report. It was a wonderful J term, full of great classes. And for those of you that don't know, J term is a special time in between fall and spring semester, a four week long period in which students can take a class, study abroad, or just take a break, maybe work, relax. What I did is I walked around and asked Hamlin students how their J-terms went. I took basics of forensic science just to get natural sciences out of the way. Um, I transferred from the U of M, so J-term was something that was foreign to me, so I had no idea what J-term was. At first it was a little bit challenging just because the pace was so quick, but after that I really started to enjoy the class and I really started to enjoy the labs and I had a lot of fun. For my J-term I took a class called Indonesian Music and Cultures. And uh, basically, it was split into two sections. The class uh, first was an hour and a half of uh, learning about Indonesian culture, so kind of more historical, cultural aspect. And then the second half of the class was uh, playing the gamelan orchestra, which is a bunch of Indonesian percussion instruments. And even being a musician for 14 years, I was pretty out of my depth, and so were the rest of us. And and by the end of um, our concert just two days ago, we were having a really fun time and lots of laughs and sort of this mutual acknowledgement that we'd gotten through something that was completely new to us together. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was fun. I took chemistry in society and I took it because I needed the natural science course. That's kind of the gist of it, but it ended up being like a really helpful experience. I really liked the professor, Julia Saunders, the professor. She was really, really helpful, um, and I think the way that she taught it and the connections that she actually made to like the society part of it, um, I kind of just started noticing that I saw like chemistry in everyday in everyday world, like you would. So, um, you know, just looking at nutrition facts and whatever else, it just became like really much more like you know, it opens your eyes to like the fact that you know science might not be in my breadth of study, but it's, you know, it's definitely relevant to everybody and it's a worthwhile course to take for that. For J-Term, I took Crucial Issues in Education, and the thing about J-Term that I just really like is that uh, we can focus on one class rather than, you know, have four or five or however many different classes to worry about, and so that's something I, I really appreciate that J-Term gives Hamlin students the opportunity to do that. Because of Hamlin's great location, right in between the Twin Cities, students can enjoy many great activities like the Red Bulls Crash Dice Event. When a painting is created, that's not the end of the life of the painting. The painting continues to change because paintings are made of materials and those materials will interact with their environment and change over time. Um, so we focus on looking at how when light interacts with a painting, how that could cause the painting to fade and then how that fading, changing of color in a painting could then um, change the composition of the piece, the appearance of it, and how we actually perceive it and um, interpret it in the future. One student, Miranda Chimzar, explains why she likes this class so much. Uh, so really applying what I've learned in past classes to something that, that really matters. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun um, getting to use both sides of my brain to uh, learning a lot about the artist side of it and what goes into a painting, but then also the chemistry side of it, of how to figure those art aspects out. Uh, so it's, it's been a lot. It's a, it's a growing sport and on top of that you know we really need to again just really look at the landscape of athletics at the, from the female side and my time here again this is uh, will be embarking on my 15th year but my third is athletic director our women's sports have really grown um, their competitive balance is, is continued to get better and um, this is just another notch in that and going that direction so we're really excited um, for our female student-athletes 
to have an opportunity to have another sport, um, but more importantly, to, to have some new people to the Hammond community is what we really want. It's a unique opportunity that most sports don't get to go through here, just transitioning to a varsity team from a club team and learning about the whole process to get there and really just be the opportunity to show what we can do our first and second years here will be pretty exciting. So yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. It'll be really fun. I mean, I'd just say it's worth it. Work hard and this is definitely a community of athletes I'm happy to be a part of and I can only imagine other people's would, would be too. So for people who are thinking about playing college lacrosse, I'd definitely consider Hamlin because the people are great, the community is great, and you get to be a part of something that's groundbreaking, really. Like the, we're going to be the first team that gets to do this here at Hamlin, and these next couple years are going to be awesome just to see what that means for us as a team and as a school as well. On Friday, January 16th, Hamlin University and neighboring communities celebrated Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and legacy at the annual Martin Luther King Jr. commemoration ceremony and day of service. The ceremony had several speakers, including President Hansen, undergraduate students Ikram Osman and Kong Vang, Hamlin liberal arts professor Colleen Bell, and Hamlin School of Law associate dean Andrew Krause. The Hamlin Gospel Choir also performed several pieces. After the service, members of the Hamlin community participated in service opportunities at six local community organizations. Thanks again for tuning into the Pipe Report. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to Hamlin University's YouTube page. You can watch more Pipe Reports, interviews, inside looks into programs and majors, and student life and campus events. Still want to learn more about being a Piper? Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at HamlinU. Tweet at us using the hashtag PiperReport to tell us what you'd like us to cover next. We'll see you next month.